Hey kids, it's Mr. Flaw here, hope you're well. Now, lockdown is almost at an end, thank goodness. It's been ages since I rode my motorcycles for fun. I haven't actually ridden this one since before Christmas, three months ago, ridiculous. Anyway, it starts to make me think, what do I need to think about uh, with regards to my battery on my bike? So, well, uh, I had a chat to the experts at channel sponsors UASA, and they've given me top five tips for looking after your battery following lockdown. So stick around, stay tuned, I'll tell you what they are. Okay, so before we can check our battery, of course, you need to get at it. And in uh, most cases on motorbikes, it's usually under the seat. So let me whip the seat off of my uh, Speed Twin uh, and we'll check out the battery on here. So once you've got access to your battery, uh, the first thing to do is to check for any obvious signs of damage around the clamps and connections and the case on the battery as well. Uh, this is a, basically a brand new battery and what is effectively a brand new bike, so it's in, in great nick as you'd expect. And it's, I'm pleased to say, fitted with an OEM UASA battery. Uh, some older bikes, and indeed cars, uh, sometimes have vent tubes as well. So if you could check in one of those out, just make sure the vent tube isn't kinked or blocked in any way. Okay, next thing you may need to do if you've got an older bike or you're checking the battery in an older car is to check the electrolyte levels. Now, uh, my motorcycles all have sealed batteries, so you don't need to do it, but if you do need to top up the electrolyte levels uh, in your bike, then make sure you, of course, only do that with distilled water. If you don't do it, you run the risk of uh, having the battery damaged over a period of time. Okay, next thing to do is to check your battery terminals for any signs of corrosion. Now, again, uh, in my new uh, Speed Twin, absolutely no uh, issue here with corrosion, as you'd expect. But uh, some older batteries can get quite corroded, quite furry, like in this picture here. Absolutely horrible. But do not despair. Often you can clean the terminals and you can bring the battery back to life. Use something like a, uh, a soft bristle. This is a brass type uh, wire brush uh, just to clean the terminals off. And as I say, you can usually bring the battery back to life that way. Right, next thing we need to talk about is charging your battery. If the battery uh, has dropped below 12.4 volts, it does need um, recharging. Now, there are a number of ways, obviously, you can check your battery. If the bike is just um, turning over slowly, that may be an indicator of a poor state of charge. You can stick a multimeter on it, or you can get a specialist uh, battery tester, like I've got here. So here we are. I've got a little battery tester here. You just stick it on the battery, like so, and it uh, tells you whether the battery needs a charge or not. Now, as you can see, this is saying 11 volts at the moment. So that is uh, definitely in a low state of charge, and this one needs a charge up. So here we go, I've got a specialist bike charger here uh, to give this a bit of a charge up. Let's connect her up now. You don't have to do this on the bench, I've just done this for ease of recording. There we go, let me just plug this in. There we go, and bingo. This is a great little charger, it's one that does a clever sort of deep charger. There are loads of these available on the market, so check them out on the internet. But uh, there we go, that's into its uh, charging cycle. Hopefully in a couple of hours, she'll be good to go again. Now, of course, the absolute best thing you can do to make sure your battery stays charged stronger for longer is to keep the battery in a, uh, in a good state of charge all the time. Now, if you ride your bike absolutely every day, now, the alternator will do that for you, and that's absolutely fine. But if you don't ride your bike every day, if you're like me, you're lucky enough to have several bikes, then you might want to invest yourself in a decent battery charger and leave it plugged in all the time, which is what I've done here on my BMW. I've got that trickle charger plugged in the whole time, uh, and that way I know whenever I want to jump on this bike, she's going to be good to go. OK, last thing to note here that uh, UASA have sent me. They said that long-term storage can cause sulfation damage at lower voltages, uh, and this could permanently harm the performance of the battery, depending on the duration uh, of the storage and the parasitic loads on the bike. So basically what they're saying is, if you've got things like um, bike alarms permanently wired to your motorcycle, uh, and you leave it sat for a very long time, you could get the uh, battery into a very uh, low state of charge indeed. And if that's the case, it may not be uh, rescuable without specialist uh, battery charger devices, uh, and you may need to replace the battery, so just bear that in mind. OK, there we go, follow those tips, and uh, hopefully your batteries will stay in tip-top condition, so your bikes are ready to ride uh, as soon as you're able to and want to. So, uh, hope that video's been of uh, some interest to you, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mr. Dunfly. Fly. Cheerio. ...for looking after your battery following lockdown. So, uh, if you're interested in that, stick around, stay tuned, and I'll uh, show you what they... will just do it again. Hey kids, Mr. Flaw here, hope you're well. Now, lockdown has been getting on the... Oh, that's rubbish. Once before about this, I'll put a link in the corner, go and check that out. Let's do that again, because we don't want that in the intro. To look at the top five tips for looking after your battery after lockdown. So stick around and stay tuned, I'll tell you uh, what to look for. Alrighty, so before we can check out our battery, we need to get at it. And one of the uh, more simple bikes to get the... That's rubbish, let's do that again. OK, so just looking over the uh, technical details that the uh, has sent me, they also said that uh, long-term storage can cause sulfation damage at lower voltages, uh, depend which could permanently... Let's do that again.
is that uh, long-term storage can cause sulfation, 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 yeah, 